Welcome to Madam One channel. Today we are going to discuss combined transformation. Diagram 9.1 shows point M on the Cartesian plane. A. Transformation T is a translation 7, negative 2. Transformation P is a reflection in the line Y equals S. Transformation R is an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degree about the origin. State the coordinates of the image of point M under the following transformation. P, T. Okay, so we must do the translation first, followed by reflection. For translation 7, negative 2, you know, if go to left hand side, it's negative. Go to right hand side, positive. For the number below, go up, positive. Go down, negative. So from here, we can make conclusion. Translation 7, negative 2 means that 7 step, go to right hand side. And negative 2 is go downward two step. Okay, so the point is 5, 1. Okay, now try to do the reflection in the line y equals s. First, you must know how to draw the line y equals s. So, when s equals 0, y also equals 0. When s equals 2, y also equals 2. Because you substitute it into y equals s. And here, s equals 2. So, y also equals 2. Okay, after you have two coordinates, 0, 0, and 2, 2, then you plot it into the Cartesian plane. So 0, 0, 2, 2, and you draw a straight line pass through these two plotted points. This is the line y equals s. Okay, so now we are going to do the reflection, reflect this point. Okay, so here the vertical line is four bosses to the line y equals s. So when touch to the line, then you turn to left. Okay, so also four bosses to the left. So the image of the reflection is 1, 5. After we solve equation A1, now we proceed to A2. We do the rotation first, followed by translation. Okay, so we still start with point M, and the rotation is anticlockwise rotation of 9. R is anticlockwise rotation, 90 degree about the origin. So first, you plot the center of rotation and you draw a line pass through the center of rotation to the point M. After this, you put a ruler at the center of the rotation. As you know, our clock moves clockwise. So anticlockwise means turn this way. Okay, so you put your ruler here. And measure the ruler is at the center of the rotation. Our ruler is 90 degree. So, draw out a line from the center to here. Okay. So, here the distance of these two lines must equal. So if you're not sure where is the point image of point M, you imagine this is a circle 
and the point move around the circumference. So the point M move anti-clockwise. So this way, 90 degree, and make sure the length of center to M, same as the length of center to the image of M. The coordinate is negative 3, negative 2. After that, we do the translation 7, negative 2. Okay, still remember how to move? 7 step, go to right hand side. And negative 2 means go down 2 steps. So the coordinate is 4, negative 4. Like grand 9.2 shows three irregular hexagons A B C D E F G H C J E K N L M H G K N drawn on a Cartesian plan. First one L M H G K N is the image of A B C D E. Okay. Where is L, M, H, G, K, N? Here, L, M, H, G, K, N. Okay, so this is image. of A, B, C, D, E here object under a combined transformation W, V Des describe in full the transformation ok so means here first is V followed by W so you must first diagram here A, B, C, D, E, F Two second diagram here C J E K G H. This is a reflection in the line S equals negative four because this the equation of this red line is S equals negative four. Okay, now W W is So from second diagram to third diagram is a now from second diagram become third diagram. This is enlargement. So for enlargement we must find the scale factor and the center of the enlargement. How to find the center of enlargement? First you find the corresponding vertex. Okay, M and H are corresponding vertex. So you draw a straight line pass through M and H. Okay, next you find another corresponding point which is G and L and draw another straight line. The intersection between two straight line is the center of enlargement. Okay, and how to find the scale factor? Okay, very simple. Scale factor, the formula is length of image over length of object. Okay, so length of image, you count, you choose this side. Here, from C to L. Okay, so how many boxes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So add over length of the object. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 4. So equals 2. Okay, so now we can describe for W. 
W is enlargement with scale factor 2 at center D. So here, just now here is the center. B2. It is given as again LM hash GKN represent a region with an area of 168 centimeter square. Calculate the area in centimeter square of the shattered region. Okay, so now for this part, we will use the formula area of image equals k square times area of object. So this formula given in formula sheet. Now, LMHGKN is area of the image. So, we substitute here area of the image 168 and scale vector 2 and don't forget put the square because we want to find the area of object. So, okay, so area of object equals 42. And area of the shadow region, you know, area of image is 168 plus the area of the object is 42. So you add it, the total is 210 centimeter square. Thank you for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe my channel. See you.